Earlier this year, I released a video on creating a planner to publish on Amazon KDP. And in that video, I gave away a free 2023 uh, planner interior, which was incredibly popular. And since releasing that, I've had a lot of questions, mainly when am I going to release a 2024 interior and how could I modify the interior? Because that particular PDF wasn't very easy to modify. So the good news is I've now released the 2024 interior, but not only that, I've also released the source files, the vector files used to create the interior, which you can now use yourself to create a more bespoke interior, to modify the interior, to create any type of planner that you like. And in fact, this niche is incredibly versatile. There's lots of different planners out there, including general planners, homeschooling, teacher, academic, diet and fitness planners. In fact, if you do your research on Amazon, you'll find that there are so many different types of books in this particular niche, and they're all aimed at different demographics as well. And one of the other pieces of good news is that this interior is absolutely free of charge, and it's available in my Gumroad shop, which I'll leave a link to down below in the description. And now is the time that you need to be considering publishing those planners on Amazon, because we're coming towards the end of this year, which means we're coming to the start of 2024. And also, we're going to be coming into Q4, which is the Christmas holiday period. So lots of people not only buy these for themselves, but they also buy them as gifts for other people. So now is a great time to start thinking about creating these and getting them on to Amazon in time for that Christmas holiday period. So in this video, I'm going to go through what the interior is and how to use it to quickly create a planner. Then I'll show you how to use those files that you can modify and sort of things that you can do with them to create more bespoke interiors. And finally, I'm going to give you some quick suggestions on other ways that you can use this interior other than just creating KDP planners. So what are you waiting for? Let's take a look. So if you follow the link in the description, it will take you to my Gumroad shop and this KDP planner here, which is the 2024 interior. And when you get to the download page, you'll find here we've got this planner guide, which is worthwhile reading. It's just a brief guide and then links to some useful resources. Then we've got this KDP planner interior for 2024, which is a 122 page PDF. And this is for an 8.5 by 11 inch book with no bleed. And as I said, it's 122 pages. So once you've downloaded that, you'll receive this PDF, which has basically got the 2024, 2025 calendar. It's got all these monthly planner pages. And we've also got these weekly planner pages. And on the opposite page to that weekly planner, you've got this area here for notes and to-do lists. So when creating your book, you create your cover, you write the title, subtitle, description, which I've covered in that previous video, again, which I'll leave a link to down below in the description, which is mainly about the cover and the interior. You then come onto the paperback content upload section. And here, as I mentioned, it's 8.5 by 11 inches. It's no bleed. And then you can choose a matte or glossy cover. And then it's just a case of uploading that PDF interior as is. You don't need to make any modifications and then just uploading that PDF file that you've downloaded. Now, if you want to modify this PDF, you can by uh, just uploading it to software like Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer. Now you can upload this to Canva. It's very simple. You go to the Canva homepage and this is in the free version of Canva and you literally just drag in the PDF that you've downloaded. Once it's uploaded, just click on it and it will open up that PDF within Canva. However, there are issues because when you upload a PDF to Canva, there can be issues around the formatting, which you can see straight away here on the first page. And if you scroll down, you can see here within the calendar, there are also some formatting issues. So you have to go through and correct those. And then you can start changing things like the fonts and some basic changes like moving around the lines. But to be honest, it's all a bit clunky and it's very difficult to get everything changed and aligned perfectly. So we come on to the other files that I mentioned that we can modify a lot easier. 
So going back to our downloads page on Gumroad, we've got the 2024 calendar, 25 calendar, the weekly planner template, the planner notes page, and we've got all those monthly calendar pages as well. So I think there's 16, something like that, 15 or 16 extra files there. So now you've got a couple of options. One is, as I said earlier, you can open these in things like Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator. Here they are in Affinity Designer. So you've got the calendar page, you've got the monthly calendar page, you've got the weekly planner page, and you've got that, that lined page with the notes and to-do list on. So you can easily move around the lines, whatever you wish. You can easily change the text, realign it. You could add images, different graphics, to these pages and the same goes for these weekly pages as well and also these monthly calendar pages so the other benefit of these individual files that you can modify is that you can also modify them to a certain extent within canva so we go to the canva homepage, click on create a design click on custom size now we want 8.5 by 11 inches and we have our blank page here so on the left hand side we go to uploads and now you can take those individual files that you've downloaded just drag them into the uploads box on canva once they've uploaded just click on it and then move it to the top left corner down to the bottom right and there you have the calendar on this page now the benefit of this is that you'll see that everything is aligned but it's not possible on Canva to change all the components that you see. Now, if you did want to change, say, that font of January 2024, there is a workaround. It would involve going over to Elements, ticking on the, the box shape, moving that to above your text, stretching it across, changing the color to white. OK, so that now disappears. And so over that, you could now add your text. Not ideal, but it is a way to modify it. And the same goes for the other files. So if we just take a lined file, that's the planner's notes page. We've got the same sort of scenario. In this case, everything is formatted correctly, but it's not that easy to change the fonts or you can't move the lines around. But what I do like about using Canva is that it's easy to add images to this. And I'll show you how, and we can make something look really quite stunning. So I'm just going to go to some images that I've downloaded. So for instance, say you've got a brand logo, you could add that. Now you see that's over our lines. So we just click on position, move that backwards, and now it's under our lines. And you could increase the size of that, move it like so. It's a bit dark, so what we could do is alter the transparency. So now you could have pages with maybe a brand logo on. Also, what you could do, now this is an image that I created in a previous video. I actually created this with AI using Midjourney, and it was a tiled pattern, a floral pattern. So again, we just need to increase the size of that so it covers our page. Again, click on position, move that backwards. Now like that, it's not particularly good. It's a bit overpowering and we can't see our lines. So we can adjust the transparency of this and we can dial this right down. So now you could actually create an interior with a colored floral background. Now, bear in mind, if you were to do that, you're now creating a color interior. It's going to cost you a lot more money to create. So you would have to charge more for it. But you may find that there are customers out there who are willing to pay a premium for a uh, an interior with this sort of colored floral background but another thing you could do just move those lines out of the way is convert that colored image into a black and white image so we we just select that layer where the image is on go to edit photo where it says filters click on see all and then scroll down and we've got these mono options and you could choose one of these and I looked at this previously and thought slate worked particularly well. And again, you can adjust the transparency up and down. You probably only want something sort of quite faint. And then you just move the top layer back into position. So again, you can create an interior that's a bit more bespoke. And then the final thing you could do is just add maybe a single image. So we'll get rid of that background, move our lines back into position. And this time we're going to choose another image like this maybe 
rotate the angle of it slightly, move it into position. Now, with this, you don't necessarily need to move it below the lines, but I recommend doing so. So again, position, move it backwards, then alter the transparency. So this is a way of modifying the interior in Canva. You can change the text in the way I've showed you, and you could add images. Probably the best way is to, if you really want to make changes to it and add lots of other features, is to take it into something like Affinity Designer, Adobe Illustrator, or Inkscape, which is a free vector editing software. And then when you create each individual page here in Affinity Designer, then you can save each page as a .png file, and then you could use that to build up the interior in Canva or something like Keynote or PowerPoint. Um, there's lots of different types of software that you can do that. So now here's just a few suggestions other than using this interior to create KDP planners. And that is you could use it to create things like printables to sell on Etsy. Again, planner printables on, X, on Etsy are incredibly popular, sell very well. And these are digital files that you upload to Etsy. So when someone buys it, they just download the PDF file, which they can then print out themselves. Also on Etsy, you can sell these as Kindle Scribe planners. So now you could take this interior and you could modify it in a PDF um, editing software and you could create links within it. And so you could create an interior that someone can purchase on Etsy, download it to their Kindle Scribe or something like GoodNotes if they're using an iPad and they've got a planner there, which they can then, you know, hyperlink to so they can jump to different pages within that planner. Again, I did a video on that. I think it was earlier this year or end of last year. I'll leave a link to that down below in case you're interested in that. And also, this is an interesting one, which is client giveaways. Now, I remember beginning of last year, I did a video on this and I got a few messages sort of criticizing it. Oh, you know, this is rubbish. There's no way anyone's going to be able to sell these. Who on earth will buy these? And in fact, I got messages from quite a number of people that did create these types of books for their clients which they either sold or they gave away. Things to think about are things like, you know, if you're a dietitian giving away diet planners or selling a diet planner to your clients uh, and that type of thing, you know, prompt journals, mindfulness journals, if that's your type of business. So there's some suggestions that you could use this um, basic planner for and use those files which you can modify and modify them in this way for different uses. Just a way of maybe looking at, you know, other ways of creating income and also more importantly, diversifying your income um, on other platforms so that you're not reliant on one platform for your sole income. I hope you found that useful. Now, if you are new to this and you're wondering, well, I don't even know how to create a cover or upload it to Amazon, then I've got this playlist here. It's a book tutorials playlist on, first of all, creating a basic journal to publish on Amazon. Thank you for your time. Very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.